So if you follow along on my channel and if you... Okay. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a quick and small empties for February. This has been a crazy month for me because I have been sick and very busy at the same time. And therefore I haven't used up that many products. Um, it's kind of sad actually. <laughs> but I hope you are going to enjoy it anyway. I hope you enjoy my empties because this is uh, kind of new to me to do in English. So I hope you will bear with me. With me not having the right word selection and stuff like that. So let's just jump into it. I collect all my makeup empties in this small bag here so they are separated from the rest so this month i have four things to sh talk to you guys about if you follow along my channel and if you follow along pretty panning you will see some of these items um you will know that some of these items are in some of my projects so they are kind of a spoiler alert so i hope you don't mind <laughs> i'm sure you won't so, the first thing I'm going to talk about is something I'm going to declutter. It is my Nivea Men Sensitive Aftershave Balm. This is great and very annoying at the same time. I bought this in like 2007, no, 2016 and I haven't used it up yet. And in the beginning of the month, I got very, very bad skin. I broke out a lot on my forehead. I actually um, have that again, but it's not because of this product. But I'm pretty sure it's this because it is a skincare product that I use as a makeup product and a skincare product can't last three, two or three years. So I'm just going to throw this away. Um, Nikki Tutorials, if you know her, I'm sure you do. She had this up in like 2015 or something. Uh, maybe 14 She hyped it up really really bad and it was the best primer ever Invented in life even though it wasn't a primer I fell for it. I fell for the hype, <laughs> but it is I'm just going to throw it out because I'm not going to use it. I don't want to use it because it gets all over my hands anyway, so then I have a nail polish. It is from Neil Shaw. It is one of my project polishes for this year. A few days after the update I did for my project polish, it was done. So it, it's not going to be a big surprise there. I have my W7 Lip Twister in very nude. I finished this off in the beginning of February, I think, because... I had it in my lip service and I had it in my full face project pan. So this is done. I love these so much. They're creamy and they're beautiful on the lips and comfortable and stuff like that. It's they're amazing. I have my collection lasting perfection concealer. I have used this up and I'm very happy and so sad at the same time. No matter what, it is amazing to go through a concealer because they last forever and in panning community we don't go through concealers that often <laughs> so it is quite an achievement to go through a concealer actually it seems very boring but i'm so sad because i can't get this in denmark i need to travel or order it online and i'm not the biggest fan of ordering something online i can't see but if it means that i can get this in my collection again i probably will unless i go to england in the near future. I doubt I will, but I hope so. I used up my conditioner that matches the shampoo I used up last month or the, in the in December. I can't really remember. It is the Tresemme Color Revitalized Color Vibrance Protection for Color Treated Hair. I love Tresemme shampoo and conditioner. They do amazing things for my hair. They, it is soft, shiny. I use something from L'Oreal right now, I'm not the biggest fan, so that might be the last time I'm going to buy from L'Oreal shampoo and conditioner. Line again. I used up a deodorant, it is from a brand here in Denmark called Neutral. Neutral? <laughs> Neutral. Um, it is like 
it is a twist up so you twist down up here and the product will come out in this hole right here so it's kind of sanitized but at the same time it's really not because it's filthy it's very very I got it very very cheap and I actually really like it but I don't think I'm the best fan of this applicator because it gets so messy maybe I'm just dirty under my arms I don't know I used up some cut rounds I use a lot of these because I do project polish so I need to do my nails very often and <laughs> I go through these very quickly now the last thing I'm going to show you is something I'm so excited to have used up and so sad at the same time. It is a body butter from the body shop. It is the Christmas edition of the glazed apple body butter from 2015, I think. This is amazing. Oh my God. I can smell to this all day long. It is so good. This is what got me started to apple scented things and body butters. Um, the year after they came out with a spiced apple body butter, I think. I'm not the mess. I'm not the biggest fan of that one. So this was definitely my favorite. I have one more, so that's great. <laughs> but I used up body butter and that is a big achievement for me because I don't go through them that often and not very fast because I only use them after the shower and I shower one um I shower two to three times a week. That is everything for this video. I hope you enjoy it and I'm going to do a tag after this. I think I think I'm going to do the used and abused tag. So I hope you will um, look forward to that. I have another tag um, planned out that can go live any day. So I hope you will stick around on my channel if you like tags and if you like empties. Definitely subscribe down below because I do a lot of them and I do put a banning where I finish off makeup on a uh, kind of regular basis. So please check out my channel for more videos. I have a lot going on and I hope you will stick around then. And please take care until my next video. Bye guys! <laughs>